Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Diana. Today we are talking about doing the good you already know how to do. James is a book in the New Testament that was written by the brother of Jesus. James, it is full of practical application that is very often said to be quite clear. Isn't that great news? Well, listen to today's verse. It's found in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 17. It says, If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and does not do it, it is sin for them. Well, today's verse, it's telling followers of Jesus to do the good you know how to do. Simply put, he's saying do the right thing that you already know is right. The fact is, many of us, we know the right thing, the wise thing, the good thing to do in our relationships today. The struggle comes when we do not put that into practice for a variety of reasons, right? Well, what if today we followed James's clear challenge? What if we did what we know we ought to do today? In today's passage, James is reminding Jesus followers that, that they do not know what will happen tomorrow that nobody knows for certain what their day holds tomorrow. And because of this reality, James is saying, be present in today. Do today what you know you ought to do. Don't wait, don't avoid, don't put off the good you know you ought to do for another day because you don't know what tomorrow holds. And he's saying this in the context of relationships. So what is the good that you know to do in your family, in your friendships? What is the good that you know to do with your coworkers or with a classmate? How about with a partner or a spouse? Sometimes the good is very clear. We know what it is. Sometimes in relationships, the wisdom is to do the good you know how to do. To say that encouraging word, to do that task quietly that's coming to mind, to rearrange your schedule in order to show up and be present, Doing good sometimes means being generous with your words, with your intellect, with your patience, with with practical needs. Sometimes doing the good means being self-controlled, to not say those words. Those are just a few examples. One commentator wrote this, and I quote, The connection between faith and obedience, according to the book of James, should be seen in the way that Christians love and serve others, chapter 2, the way that they guard their speech from sin, chapter 3, and the way that they reject these worldly forms of wickedness and rebellion from God, chapter 4, end quote. You see, doing the good we know to do, it is an expression of our faith. Now, remember, Jesus was the only one who perfectly fulfilled the will of God. Jesus did not put off the good that was before him in each day. In fact, Jesus was obedient to God's ways, even being obedient all the way to death on the cross. Philippians 2, 8 tells us this. And because of God's great love for us, for you, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace we have been saved through faith. Ephesians 2 talks about this. You see, Jesus, he did the good he knew how to do. What will you choose today? Let's ponder these things. 